What is up to all my Baggins Dragons out there? Welcome to another video. I just got some silver in from a member of the community and we're gonna be doing him a very special pour. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. We got four ounces of generic silver here. And uh, as many of you know, generic silver is my favorite kind of silver to melt because it's not a coin, relatively low premiums. Uh, even the silver shot sometimes has a little bit more of a premium, unless you're buying like something crazy, maybe 100 ounces, then it's more uh, in the same price as the generic silver rounds. But anyway, these are just so easy to throw in the furnace and melt down. That's what I do most of my pours out of. So when people ask me, hey, Mr. Baggins, or Silver Baggins, <laughs> um, can you do a special pour for me? I usually suggest, yeah, just send me some generic silver rounds, throw in an extra round or so to pay for it, and uh, that's usually how we end up doing it. But anyway, we got a note here uh, from James. And I'll just read it off. It says, uh, Mr. Baggins been watching your silver pouring videos and would like to thank you for doing a pour for my wife, my wife's and my anniversary. Uh, here's a three ounce of generic rounds in trade for the two ounce pour heart. Again, thank you for uh, doing this for me. Thanks, your friend James. And then he says, uh, P.S. I've added one more generic round just to make sure you're covered for any over pour weight and postage and your time. If this is included into one of your poor videos, that would be a plus. <laughs> well, uh, I'm absolutely including this in one of my poor videos. I'm doing it literally right now, James. This is the video. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go throw the silver into my furnace, which his name is Smog, if you guys don't know. And uh, we're gonna pour uh, a heart for James. Now, hopefully we can get a pretty fat one uh, definitely go for over two ounces, absolutely. And uh, hopefully we can get a really cool looking one for you and your wife's anniversary. So as you can so see, I've got the furnace turned on. We're up to 417 degrees Celsius, 418. All right, it's going up nicely. And uh, here is the top where we drop the silver in. I've already got some in there. I'm gonna drop in uh, three more of those ounces that you sent me and we'll get those melting down. There we go. That's how I do it. I just use these really long needle nose pliers just to keep hands away from all the hot stuff and whatnot. But anyway, we're gonna let that heat up the rest of the way. We gotta get up to 1,094 degrees Celsius, which is about 2,000 Fahrenheit, and that'll be the pour temperature. And then we will pour you your heart. So let's do it. Nice, that is looking really good. That's a good size too there. Get that popped out. I got these new uh, tongs. I'm not used to using them yet. But look at that pour. Beautiful, beautiful pour. That's gonna clean up nice. Let's get that quenched and weighed. Okay, James, so I got your silver heart all tumbled up here. I'm ready to open it up and see what it looks like for the first time. I cleaned it up and I stamped the front with my dragon and then I tumbled it so now we can uh, bust it open and see what it looks like. This is kind of the hardest part of getting it out of the tumbler, this stage right here. Usually I use like a screwdriver to try and pop this top off. There we go. And then sometimes I kind of grab the top there. Okay, perfect. All right, so I got my Shine Bright solution in here. Uh, it just kind of turns into a nice little soapy uh, tumble, which makes it look really shiny. So here we go. Look at that. That is a shiny heart. <laughs> uh, let me get this all uh, uh, wiped off here, and then we will show it to you again. Okay, so we got it all dried off, and look how beautiful this heart is. Wow, it ended up being so incredibly shiny, and the ripples just look really, really good. The uh, dragon stamp is pretty much perfect there in the middle. Check that out. Wow, ended up looking really, really nice. Uh, good looking heart. I don't have the back stamped yet. Uh, this is just for my hands here. Uh, because I don't have a final weight, so let's weigh it and see how big of a heart we ended up pouring for you, my friend. Uh, I don't do the final weight until after the tumble because sometimes we lose just a hair of weight in the tumbler. So let's see how much it weighs here. Okay, 2.554. That is a really, really good weight. 
So a little over two and a half ounces here. Uh, probably just stamp it 2.5 for you. That's a little bit easier and uh, and, it, and it works just as good. So a two and a half ounce heart we ended up with and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I hope your wife uh, likes it for her anniversary present or maybe it's your anniversary present, I'm not sure. But uh, either way, there's the heart. I'll get that finished, stamped up, and sent off to you as soon as I can. And thank you all so much for watching. If you wanted something special poured for yourself, just shoot me an email. I always put my email in the description of the video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Baggins, out.